advanced workflows. Previously, we learned the basics of workflow. Now we want to help you unleash the full potential of workflows with Kissflow. Patrick doesn't want workflows going on forever. Patrick was curious to find a way to limit the waiting time on tasks and wanted to keep things on track. Thankfully, with Kissflow, you can set deadlines to make sure everything is done on time. SLA Management. First, go to Edit Process and then click on the Workflow tab. Scroll down to the step where you want to add a deadline and click on the Add a Deadline button. Choose the required days, hours, or minutes. Let's say you want the deadline to be in 48 hours. Next, you need to configure alerts by adding an action. You can either notify, which sends an automated reminder email, or you can escalate to let other team members know that the assignee hasn't completed their task. Next, select who should receive this alert. It can be a specific team member, a group, an email field, or a user field in your form. You can also configure it with a formula. Finally, select a time period between 30 minutes and one month and choose whether you want the alert to go out before or after the deadline. If you need to, you can add multiple actions. Normally, Patrick gives a manager 48 hours to approve a purchase request, but if the item is required urgently, it might need a faster approval. In short, what Patrick needs is a dynamic deadline. Replace this with a formula that stipulates if the required before date is less than two days away from today, the deadline automatically changes to 24 hours. On top of this, Patrick wants only a 12-hour deadline for requesters from operations. In this situation, you can create a rule-based deadline. To set it up, select the rule-based deadline button. Choose a field, operator, type, and map a value or a field based on the type. You can also add multiple conditions. Dynamic assignment. Static assignment is when you specify the user who is assigned to a task by name. But in dynamic assignment, the selection of the assignee depends on the data filled in the form. For example, at Sally's Cupcake Chain, perhaps someone from marketing and someone from sales needs approval for a purchase request. Each staff member will be reporting to a different manager. In situations like this, dynamic assignment comes to the rescue. In KissFlow, you have three ways of assigning an approver dynamically. First, by adding user filters. Simply choose a field, operator, type, and map a value or a field based on the type. You can also add conditions to limit the values shown. This is useful if you want to use information stored in a table to select the assignee. Second, by adding a data set. Just select the correct data set and then select the correct user field in your data set. Here you can even put in further filters on top of the data set like this. Last of all, you can assign an approver dynamically by adding a formula. Here we can use system fields and functions to write a formula. Pretty great, right? Another brilliant feature in KissFlow is the ability to add a parallel branch. Patrick realizes that his manager's approval and finance approval are independent of each other. They don't need to happen sequentially, and he could save a lot of time if they happen simultaneously. Parallel branches. To allow this in the workflow section, select the Add button and then click on Add a Parallel Branch. Then simply name each branch. You can even add a condition to specify when approval from each branch should happen and add more branches. Next, you need to add a step under each branch. To do so, simply drag and drop both these steps like this. Now, when this branch begins, the manager and the finance department will receive the task at the same time, but it won't progress to the next step until both approve their assigned tasks. You might have noticed there was another option called Add GoTo. Let's explore that. GoTo. GoTo allows the request to go forward and backward within the workflow when certain conditions are met. If the requester hasn't received the requested amount from the finance department even after getting every approval, the GoTo option will send the request back automatically. To configure the GoTo, all you have to do is select Finance Approval as the step the item should go to, and then enter the conditions under which it should fire. Refreshing Lookup and Aggregation field. 
Sometimes the source data in the lookup and aggregation fields can change midway through the request process. For instance, the price of a MacBook in a catalog can change while the process is ongoing. By default, values are retrieved when the form is first submitted and they don't update by themselves, and this can create confusion later. For example, if the finance department approves the purchase of a MacBook at an older price, then this might lead to confusion when price changes. However, as a process admin, you can choose to refresh the lookup and aggregation fields in the form during certain steps in the workflow to avoid any confusion. To do this, just go to the Permissions tab and scroll down to the bottom of the form. To configure actions, simply hover over the Submit, Reject, Withdraw, or Send Back options, and then select Advanced. Under Refresh Fields, choose the lookup or aggregation field that you want to refresh. Now when you click on this action button, the values in the fields are refreshed and updated automatically. You're almost an expert at managing workflows. Dive deeper with Kissflow and master how to manage your processes in our next lesson.